Okay, if you want to pause the video now and have a go, otherwise let's get started. So the first thing to do with this question is work out the area of the wall. So I'm just going to show the examiner that I'm doing the area and I'm going to do the width times the height. So it's 88 meters squared. So we need to get enough paint to cover 88 meters squared. Now it says each tin covers four meters squared. So we need to work out how many tins we need. Tins needed. Okay, so I need to do 88, which is the amount I need to cover divided by four because I know each tin will cover four of them four meters squared of wall and I've got 88 meters squared to cover so what I can do is I can work out how many fours there are in 88 now you can do this with the bus stop method so if I just quickly do that now so four on the outside and 88 on the inside fours into eight go twice fours into eight go twice so the answer is going to be 22 so I need 22 tins. Now, here's the uh, difficult bit. The cost is £5.70, and I need 22 of them. So, if I work out using a quick little diagram, if I've got one tin, that will cost £5.70. And so I need to, to get 22. So if I get 10 tins, that will be 10 times as much. So that will be 57 pounds. If I get 20 tins, that's going to be twice as big as 57. So it's going to be 114 pounds. And if you need to do 57 times 2, that's the way of doing it. 7 times 2, 14. 7 times 5 is 10 plus the 11. So we've got 20 tins so far, and we need to get 22. So I can get 21 by adding £5.70. So that's going to be £119.70. And oh, let's keep it in money. And so 22 will be another £5.70. So it's going to be £119.70 plus. Five pound seventy. So that's going to be fourteen. That's going to be fifteen. That's going to be a hundred. So that's one hundred and twenty-five pounds forty pence. Now a different way you could do this is um, convert every convert that five point seven to fifty-seven. And then you could have done 57 times 22. And a lot of you will be using this method. So you do 50 and 7, 20 and 2. So that's going to be 1,000. 2 times 7 is 14 with the 0. 5 times 2 is 10 with the 0. 2 times 14 is 14. Uh, 2 times 7 is 14. So that's going to be 1,254. And then, of course, we need to divide that by 10 because we made that 57 there. We made the 5.757. So we've got to divide that by 10, which would be 125.4, which we know in money is £125.40. I suggest if you've got any problems doing 5.7 or £5.70 times 22, a different way you could do it is just do it in pence. Make it 570 pence times 22 and then just convert your answer back into pounds in your answer. I definitely recommend you practice using, uh, practice multiplying big numbers and decimals together if you had problems with this. Thank you.